so beautiful outside right now. Oh my god. Hello Spicy Bean, welcome to the vlog. I feel like I have not vlogged in so long. We honestly have so much to catch up on. It's kind of insane. That was such a good shower. I talk about this all the time, but like, I just don't think we appreciate showers enough. This past week, I actually took a week off, which I truly never do. If any of you guys are self-employed girlies out there, you'll get it, but taking a week off is such a luxury. But I did that because my sister-in-law, who is also my best friend, I love her so much, she came and stayed with me and Ethan and Ethan and her are also like best friends and it was just such a lovely week. We spent so much quality time together, did so many fun, crazy, silly things, which we'll get into in a little bit. But yeah, then when you come back to like real life, everything, it just feels so, like I just feel like I'm really out of my routine at the moment. One of the things that we did together was we actually got tattoos, which is kind of crazy. You guys probably don't know this, or maybe you will have seen it in, you know, glimpses of it in my vlogs, but I do already have one tattoo. It's just on my ankle. It's really, really small, but I always knew I was going to get at least one more, mainly because I want to get a spicy bean tattoo when and if we hit 100k on this YouTube channel. I can't explain it, but you know when things just happen and you kind of just go with the flow? Like, I felt like the universe was really pushing us to get these tattoos. I can't really even explain why because it won't probably won't make that much sense to you, but just as an example, we all went on this walk one morning and the walk was like silly goofy. We got coffees and then we basically said each person would pick the next direction that we walk in. So Leah said left. And then it was my turn, so then I would say straight, and then Ethan would be like, let's go right. So we just like were walking around the neighborhood randomly, and we happened to walk past this tattoo studio, which I had Googled with these guys because we were considering possibly getting tattoos. It was kind of like, should we, should we? And then literally our random walk took us past the doors of this tattoo studio and we were like wait we need to just go in and see if they have any appointments available for tomorrow and they did just so many things like that happened that felt like it was really pushing us to get these tattoos i just need to get my makeup bag from underneath my bed that is something that has happened recently and that's also a part of the reason why i've been out of my routine because something we didn't even think about or consider is that you are not meant to sweat for two weeks or until it scabs over is what I've read online. And as you guys probably know, I am currently training for a half marathon, which is in three weeks. It's not the best time for me to be taking like this much time off of working out, but you know what? We're gonna get through and it's gonna be fine. Makeup is done, outfit is on. I'm feeling fresh and ready for the day. This chair is so loud, listen. Oh, of course now it's not loud. You know when you try to show someone something and then when you show them that one time, it doesn't behave normally. It's like when you're like, oh, my phone's broken, like come and fix it. And then you show someone and it's completely fine. Why does that happen? Anyway, I'm sitting down at my desk because even though I kind of feel like frolicking in the sunshine today, I do want to have a semi-productive day as well. And I actually have a lot of things to do. The first thing I want to do is I have been massively neglecting my Instagram. I have a spam account. I don't know if I've said that on here yet, but basically I used to add you guys to my close friends story, but I had to manually accept or manually add everybody, like search up their usernames. Also, one time when I was drunk, I accidentally posted something on my main story that was meant for my close friends story. and. It was like genuinely the most humiliating thing of my whole life because it was about a girl I'd just become friends with. And I was like, oh my God, like just made a friend. And then she replied to it. She's like, it's me. And I was like, literally fuck my life. But I just did a Q and A story slide. Um, so I'm gonna quickly answer some of those questions because how fun. So, oh my God, millennial pause at the beginning. Okay. 
This is what happens when I don't film for so long. I then overthink everything that I film. Had to think about so much when making, why do I sound like this? I, did you guys hear the way that I just was speaking? I was like, I'm it, uh, uh. <laughs> need to retake that. Or sell it. I just sold all done. I have effectively spammed my stories. So again, if you want to catch up with me in a way more chill, intimate way, go follow the spam account. Guess what time it is? Clean a tattoo time. You haven't been in the vlogs in so long. Hey guys. Do hey Blaganators. Do you guys miss him? Do you miss them? I miss them, yeah. And I feel like somewhat the same people that watch the Is It A Fit videos and so like I feel like yeah, I've seen not... you. I've seen you like recently. It's just not in this format. Yeah, exactly. Any yeah. any life updates? Anything? Um, nothing really. Sort of. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> trying to think. <laughs> we love doing that. Okay, yeah. well, it's time to officially wash our tattoos. It's been four days. Mm -hmm. We have this stuff on it right now called Second Skin. I don't know if you can see. My bitch is dirty as. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, it's meant to just like protect it and literally act as a second skin while your tattoo kind of heals and bleeds and then you're meant to wash it off after four days. So we're gonna peel these bitches off. Do you want to go first? Sure. It's like peeling off a new iPhone cover, you know? <laughs> tattoo ASMR video, unboxing video. Happy with it? Yeah. She did a really good job. I think Leah was talking about some that book or something that says same moon, same moon in it, and that's where yours came from. And then I was like, oh, I really actually have a strong connection to the moon. And Leah was like, oh my god, me too. Mm. So like we all kind of had a thing for the moon, which is cool. This is what mine currently looks like. She's a little hard to read. Look, you can see that the tattoo. Yeah. It's really red because I just scratched the sticky stuff off. So yeah, it says same moon. We were chatting about it with Leah, my sister-in-law, and she mentioned this book. She can't remember what it is, but it's about this mum and this daughter and they say same moon to remind themselves that they're underneath the same moon no matter how far away they are and I've always loved that sentiment. I think it was also in The Perfect Man, the Hilary Duff movie. And yeah, these guys were gonna get crescent moons and I was like, it would be so cute if I got one that said same moon written in Jem's handwriting. Jem is my best friend and that's exactly what I did and I literally love it so much. Like how cute is that? All done! Do you know what day it is today? It is Thursday. It is also the 21st of September. Do you remember? The 21st, 21st night of, of September. I am. So I you remember. I am. Top off. Every time in September. I am. Never known a cloud of It's actually much later now. It's 1.15. Ethan and I had breakfast. We're actually currently obsessed with Cody Trains. It's Cody Co's training YouTube channel and it's actually goat. Like it's so good. We love it. But I'm sitting down to do some emails. My least favorite thing. And this is actually one of the life updates that I have for you guys. So I'm no longer with my management company. This is kind of the second management company that's like semi fucked me over. I wouldn't say it's neither of them have been intentional like there's no bad blood but I just the reality is I have been a little bit fucked over. The first company I signed with in April and they just I feel like they just didn't understand my vision my audience like basically they worked with a lot of like TikTok bros like finance bros and stuff so I ended up um, terminating that contract with them during the trial period. Then I signed on with my previous management company who, oh my God, my first manager was amazing. I loved her so much. She was based in Sydney. So we were on the same time zone, just like such a lovely girl obsessed. But then about three weeks after I signed on, she actually left the company. So I got a new manager who was based in the UK 
really hard to get a hold of. I had to like chase her for two weeks to even just jump on a meeting call to like say hi. Definitely not her fault. She had to take on a bunch of new clients and stuff. And then I got a text from her like two days ago, basically saying the company's restructuring and they're letting go of a bunch of their talent. So I kind of feel like two months of my life has been semi-wasted by this company, but it's fine because now I'm taking life into my own hands. I have a spreadsheet. Let me show you my spreadsheet. So I'm just trying to keep track of the brands that I'm reaching out to. Right now I'm just doing mass outreach to try and like book in a few brand deals. The thing is with me, and I say this all the time, I do not do pretty much any brand deals. I think I've done two brand deals this year and one was in January and one was my Udi brand deal, which was recent. So I really don't do many, but ideally I would love to have one a month because I don't think that's annoying for you guys and it really does help me make the content that I actually wanna make. Raining. It just started absolutely pouring and it was like sunny five minutes ago. Guys, I'm actually screaming. The scream I just scrumped because I've reached out to Bobby who I mention their drinks all the time on my YouTube channel. Like you guys have definitely seen them before, but they're prebiotic sodas and they are so good. And I just sent them an email because I was like, I genuinely love their product. I'll just see if they would maybe be interested in working together or even just like giving me a soda or two kind of thing. And they literally replied instantly. And she was like, don't worry about a PR box, babe. We will fully stock your fridge. I'm actually gonna pass away. Anyway, the sun has actually just come out and it looks so beautiful. It is like 15 degrees outside, which is kind of cold, but I'm ready to gaslight myself into thinking that the spring weather is still here. We had the most beautiful like first week of spring and then it started raining, so classic of Melbourne. But I'm gonna go and have a nice little walk to a coffee shop. I'm gonna get myself an iced decaf and just be outside. Sometimes when I spend too much time in my apartment, I cease to feel like I'm actually part of a community. For some reason, I literally choked when I was ordering my coffee. Not like, <clears throat> but like choked as in I couldn't spit my words out. I was like, can I get an ice? Oh, like it was so awkward anyways, but she looks beautiful. I can't wait to drink her. This is from Industry Beans. They truly do make some of the best coffee in Melbourne. They have a few different locations, but highly recommend, 10 out of 10. It is such a beautiful day today. It's like extra crisp in the air, but I'm not sad about it because I know that these are gonna be the last few weeks of really cold mornings and then we're gonna get into the incredibly hot summer spring weather but it's fine every season has its benefits anyway i thought i would extend the vlog into this morning because i've realized that this is mainly like a work youtube -y, behind the scenes kind of vlog and i'm actually meeting up with beth who you guys know and love by now and we're gonna have a little editing date together this is something that we do all the time. I think it just helps us both stay motivated. It's obviously so nice to have someone in your life who basically has the exact same like trajectory as you. Like she's also a YouTuber, also wants to, you know, hit 100K. Like all of these goals that we have are so similar and it's just very motivating to be around her. She's also just so talented. Her videos are honestly so good. Before that though, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I'm so excited. The best thing that you'll ever do in your life is putting chili onion crunch on your eggs. It is unbelievable. It's so good. I could not make a decision on my outfit. I ended up changing into jeans because I just couldn't figure out what to wear. And now I hate my hair. And this is how you know that you're getting your period because I'm extra, extra self-critical today. Does anybody else do this? I'm all ready to head out. I think my hair looks a little bit weird. 
but we're just gonna roll with it. But the plan is we're gonna go grab a little coffee and then head back to Beth's and edit there because she has like a proper office setup with desks and chairs. And honestly, 99% of cafes, but mainly Starbucks, which is where we usually edit, the seating situation is so uncomfortable. And when you're editing, like you really need to actually just sit down, do it for like five hours and you just can't do it on a stool. So I'm very grateful for her and I'm so grateful that she has a little office where we can work. Look how cute this office is on camera. Like absolute slay. There she is. Very proud of it. I say as I did no work, Cal did all of this, but I'm like, yeah, I'm very proud of it. Cal, we love your work. We literally have not done anything. Like I'm not joking. I think we've sat here chatting for two hours, but do you know what? I've eaten a cinnamon scroll. We've <laughs> spilled some tea. And now we have to actually do some work mm -hmm. because I do need to finish an entire video today. Mm -hmm. Tea. So, Wish us luck, send us productive vibes. We've got this. We've got this. <laughs> I did vlog this morning. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so funny. Can you tell me? 